Do you say, or have you ever said, that there is a doomsday <coughs> or Armageddon? No, there is no such thing as Armageddon or a doomsday. I, I believe quite, um, and I've been quite open about this, that I believe quite strongly that there is no such thing as an Armageddon, as the Bible states. The Bible states there is an Armageddon. I do not agree. There is no such thing as a doomsday, which is taught in many religions and also taught in a lot of New Age concepts. I don't agree with such teachings at all. I believe that there will be that there are the potential. There is the potential of future events that will probably be called cataclysmic on the planet, just like there has been in the past events that have been cataclysmic on the planet. However, I don't see any big um, impact upon these events because any person who passes passes into the spirit world. They have a continual existence. And so I don't see there needing to be any threat of such events. We need to like, understand that we have a continuous life and therefore need to have nothing to fear aside from the choices we make. That, that's the only thing we've got to fear really. And, and even then I wouldn't say to fear, we just need to learn from the, one, the choices that caused us pain and suffering. I feel that the biggest doomsday there is is the day you choose to stay in pain and suffering. And many people are choosing to do that mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Choosing to stay in pain and suffering, choosing to not release emotions that cause them to remain in pain and suffering. And I feel that that's a personal doomsday for each person, really. It's sad when I see people doing that because we have such potential to change and grow. And our potential to change and grow is infinite as, as human souls. And this is something that we teach all the time. So when people choose to remain in pain and suffering, I feel that's a personal doom for them. But, but it's not a doomsday. And I feel people also refer to a judgment day. And, and I believe that judgment day is every moment. Like... Every moment you're faced with choices and decisions, some of those choices and decisions you make are out of harmony with love and because they're out of harmony with love, you will have the consequence that is painful uh, as, a, as a result. But are you saying that God is judging us? No, God's laws are in operation. Remember, I st uh, I've stated in many discussions about God's laws and I suggest to people to, to look at the presentations about God's laws because God's laws are always in operation. It's like the law of gravity, it's always in operation. We have the choice to ignore it to our detriment. It's the same with all of God's moral laws. It's the same with all of God's spiritual laws. And it's the same with all of God's laws about love that operate upon the soul. We have the choice to our detriment to ignore the law if we so desire, but it will be to our detriment. It will be to our own pain and suffering. So whenever I'm in pain and suffering, I need to look at the choices that I've made and, and reappraise the choices that I've made. Once I become at one with God, even if other people attack me, I still won't feel pain and suffering. In the first century, after I became at one with God, I didn't feel pain and suffering. Before then, I did. And uh, you know, before I was 30 years of age, I had quite a lot of pain and suffering in my life in the first century, um, some of which, most of which was the result of other people. Um, after I became at one with God, even when other people treated me badly, I no longer experienced pain and suffering. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I believe when you, when you feel pain and suffering, you have a great opportunity to be self-reflective and to change. And that is the primary way in which we experience uh, either a lack of doom or doom <laughs> in our lives. Um, I do feel, though, that physical events on the planet are still a potential of occurring, even though 2012 has passed. And uh, I don't believe that God times anything. You know, there's no date in God's eternal existence. There's no special date, special time. There are just experiences that occur as a result of choices that we make. And I do believe still that on this planet, mankind is still making many fear-based choices. As a result of that, a lot of violence is being perpetrated on the planet, but also not only violence towards humanity, but violence towards the earth itself. And as a result, the earth normally goes into corrective stances 
and, uh, and, and so there is still the potential of these events occurring in the future um, and in the near future, I believe. But that doesn't mean that it's a doomsday or an Armageddon. Mm. My next question is, do you threaten people with a doomsday or an Armageddon? And perhaps we could extend that to this idea, do you threaten people with uh, these cataclysmic or potentially cataclysmic um, events that you were talking about? No, like, uh, excuse me, I just need to have a cough. No, the, the only times I've discussed in the past uh, things with people about so-called earth change events and so forth is when they have asked me the question. When a person asks me a question, whether I'm right or wrong, I will give the answer of what I feel at that time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's what I do. And as I grow and change, my answers sometimes will change. Obviously, there are some things that I'm remembering and there are other things that I'm learning. And obviously, with the things that I'm learning, my responses will definitely change. With the things I'm remembering, it's highly unlikely my responses will change because I've already gone through those processes emotionally. I've already come to recognise the truth about those particular things. So after 2,000 years of life, I have a memory of certain things and it's a wide variety of things. And those particular things, um, I don't think I will change in the future very much. There are certain things that I don't have no knowledge of. And one of those is the future. I don't know what choices people are going to make in the future. I don't know what effects those choices will have on the earth or their own lives. I'm not, I'm not omniscient as God is. I, I don't have the ability to calculate all the potential occurrences or choices that a person may make and work out what the conclusion will probably be. All I have to do, all I have the ability to do is the same as everyone else, and that is to see the potentials of what we can potentially do in the future. And I feel the potential for the future is fantastic on the earth and in the spirit world. The potential on earth is that we can, you know, within a hundred years we could have an earth that is completely free of violence, completely free of war, completely free of weapons, completely free of everything. That's our potential. If everyone used their intelligence, that would definitely be the outcome. And we also have the potential to have the completely opposite thing occur, where, you know, where it was like, like it was like, like in the 60s and 50s, where there was the potential of nuclear holocaust. We have that potential. Mm -hmm. and in the spirit world, it's a bit different. We don't have the potential of a nuclear holocaust, but we do have the potential of staying in the so-called hells, the, the places where it's dark and dingy and unhappy for much of our life if we choose to remain as we currently you know, they are. If we choose to change, we've got the potential of actually having everyone in those locations leave those locations. We've got the potential of not having any dimensions uh, below the sixth dimension of the spirit world have any people in them because everyone's in a state of happiness. Mm -hmm. We have that potential. These are all the potentials, you know, the reality is every single moment of our lives we are making choices. As soon as we make a choice, we're choosing a different life. We're choosing a different potential. That now becomes our reality. Uh, so we all have this ability to change our reality to change what we actually experience by making different choices. What I would like to see is people make different choices. And I feel there's no need to threaten people with a future because God's laws automatically correct them. Pain and suffering is the automatic result of living out of harmony with, with God's laws. Mm -hmm. And if we know that, that's one of the truths that we're sharing with people. And if we know that, then we know we can make, pain and suffering is an indicator, I've made the wrong choice. Mm -hmm. So I'm experiencing pain and suffering. I've made the wrong choice. I need to make a change to my choices. Once I do that and I understand that principle, then I have a lot of power over my own life. I've got the ability to have a beautiful life after that. That's our potential. Yeah. And I don't believe there's any need to threaten people with any other potential. Yeah. What, what there is a need to do is inspire people with that potential. Mm -hmm. I feel on this planet there is a definite lack of positive thinking, a definite lack of inspiration because most people are so, um, what I would call it, what, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like disillusioned, cynical, cynical mm -hmm. with life. They don't believe in any positive outcome anymore because their, their experience in their past has been there hasn't been one. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm saying, no, the experience of that past where there hasn't been a positive outcome is the result of your choices that are about a harmony with God's laws. Mm -hmm. 
that's the reason why your past has been like that. If you can offer people the, the potential of this inspirational potential that we can all grow, we can all become perfect, we can all become perfected in love and truth, we can all become at one with God if we so desire, but even if we don't desire that, we still have the potential to live completely happy, happy lives as long as we acknowledge all of God's other laws and live in harmony with them, we will be without pain and suffering. Mm. That's our potential. There, there is the potential of no sickness, no harm, no violence, you know, people living long, very, very long lives and potentially forever on earth if they wanted to, even if they didn't want God. There's this potential if they brought things into harmony with God's laws. But unfortunately, most people don't understand that. And so they keep choosing things that are out of harmony with God's laws. And as a result, they choose pain and suffering. Mm. 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 That's a good thought. Mm.